Do, 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 do. I'm always really good at pattern recognition, which is why I should quit every job I currently have and uh, start uh, investing, uh, becoming a stock speculator, because I've seen some real retards, some real fools that uh, I've made a fortune in stocks. So I'm really good at seeing the big picture on a lot of stuff. By the way, here's a perfect example. Like when an ant colony or a wasp colony gets too big, it will like create a new queen and then it'll fly the hell off and then, uh, you know, go to some other place. Like the ant colony is too big. It's like, you know, there's not enough elbow room. They split the hell off and they go somewhere else. Now there was a day and time back when there was uh, way too much tyranny, like in England. For example, too much taxes, too much tyranny. You know, everybody was just struggling just to stay the F alive. And when what happened was, is of course, they went to the new world, meaning this world right here, the United States of America. And this is not about politics. I don't do politics. I don't do religion. I'm not talking about politics or politicians. The politicians, of course, are all scumbags. I don't care what side they're on. Because anybody that wants power should never be given power. But anyway, it's kind of like the ants is what the human beings do. It's like, you know, we're not going to put up with your effing taxes anymore. Go, go bleep yourself. Yeah? Very smart. <clears throat> However, it has gotten to the point now, and this is the reason why the world will either go out in a bang. I think you know what a bang is. Or it'll go out in a whimper. I'm thinking since everybody's like on Xanax and they're all addicted to watching Netflix, it'll go out in a whimper. But it could go out in a bang. There's no other ant hill area to uh, migrate to. You know, there was the new world. It's like, you know, screw you guys. I'm tired of this tyranny and having the piss taxed out of myself. I'm going to go over here where they don't tax the piss out of me. But now there's nowhere to go to. And tyranny, because the evil is always invasive, it spreads like wildfire. And now there's no place to go to. I actually, uh, given that uh, thought, and that it could be like uh, water world, except, of course, you know, that was where the earth was flooded in water, is that uh, people that still have common sense and, uh, you know, don't want to have the, the, the tax pissed out of and be stressed to death would, like, exile themselves to international waters on uh, boats. You know, how they interlink on water world, they'd interlink the boats together and they'd form community. And they say, well, you know, it sucks out here, we're floating on the water, but, you know, at least we're free. You know, genuine freedom. Kind of like what the Irish did and still do to, uh, you know, to jolly old England. You know, the same thing uh, William Wallace did to, you know, tyranny. British tyranny. You know, stop sticking your fingers into my daily life. See, people are left now with nowhere to go. There's no place, you know, you know outside of, uh, you know, hopping in a van and changing your name. There's no place to go where, like, masses of people can be free of tyranny. I actually see the pattern coming to a crescendo here where the world is either going to go out in a serious bang or a whimper. It could actually go out into a bang and then a whimper. You know, it could be both, actually. But everything's kind of building to a head. Um... Speaking of uh, metaphysics, uh, however, and uh, and I know why Sanyasins uh, or uh, truth seekers actually, you know, put on a robe and grab a bowl for begging for food and they make their way to the woods because they want nothing to do with society and all the BS in society. I feel that way like most of the time. Just every day is just a struggle with a new effing bill. You know, there's just uh, property taxes, regular taxes, house insurance, car. It's just... It is bull crap to the hilt. It's just every day is a struggle to stay alive. And obviously I'm not starving out in sub-Saharan, you know, wasteland somewhere. Obviously I'm fat and, you know, I got a roof over my head. At least I currently do. However, I don't have health insurance anymore because my health insurance went way far up and now I don't have health insurance anymore. But I really don't give a crap about that because if something really bad happened to me, I would just uh, go to the emergency room and, you know, have them fix my broken leg or something like that. And then I'll go, bill me. <laughs> um, I've only got like $4,000 to my name. I saved up forever to buy this camera. Everybody's going to say, well, you just bought that super expensive camera. It's like, I sold a lot and I saved up forever to get that camera. So if you got a problem with that, then you're, you're a bit of a butthole. Um, factual. But on the metaphysics of uh, power, it's such an illusion. Like everybody wants control over their lives. You're people who want control over your lives. They think... 
it gives them, this is what evil people do, and uh, the statement I've had forever is that anybody that wants power over other people are the same people that should never be given power. They literally want to control every part of your life, and uh, you know, people like that, you know, they, they have to be fought. I don't mean literally fighting, I'm not talking about, uh, you know, uh, physicality or nothing like that, but I mean, people... Unfortunately, people today are so zombified, you know, we work our butts off and we come home and just like zone out like a pod person from the Dark Crystal. I don't know if you've ever seen the Dark Crystal, but these these stupid little zombie minions with big eyes and they're, they're zoned out. They look like mini Xanax people. They just run around doing whatever they're told to do. Go do this. Go fetch that. Go do... Okay. Because of that people actually let other people have control over their lives and unfortunately society has gotten to that way this is I, I can make a really long video about the metaphysics of uh, power people that actually want control it's a complete illusion nobody has even hardly other than the the, the quest for wisdom and uh, seeking truth nobody has any power in this world you know you're not going to live forever and you you're not you shouldn't you barely have control i don't care if you're rich or poor you barely have control over your own life you know you could be hit by a car tomorrow you don't have control over anybody and people that actually want control over other people's life these people are by definition from the standpoint of metaphysics evil they are evil they can't even control their own life much less someone else's but they want to control everybody else's life no there are rules in place that like don't harm people, don't do this, you got to do that. You know, that's one thing. The people that want tighter and tighter controls, I mean, people, you know, if you gave evil people total control, which is what zombies in this world do, it's like, yeah, you can take all my money I make and, you know, you can give me free crap health care. I love it. I love to argue with people. And this is not about politics. I love to argue with people that say, I get free health care. It's like, because I don't have health care now because my health care is too expensive. It goes, well, I got free health care. I love it when people say that. I love it when people say it. My next statement immediately after that is, what's your income tax rate? What's your income tax rate? And they tell me what it is, and then I go, <laughs> You think you have free health care? You are a fool. What you could say instead, if you're an intelligent person, is you could say, you know, I pay a crap load of my money in income tax, but, you know, part of that goes towards my health care. But don't ever tell me you get free health care because there's no such thing as free health care. It does not exist. Sure there is. Like, no. There is no such thing as free health care. And if you think there is, you are a fool's fool. You are literally so foolish that even a fool would call you a fool. That's what a fool's fool means. But once again, this is absolutely not about politics in any way, shape, or form. But um, it's interesting to have a discussion upon the metaphysics of power because people don't realize what that means. You have barely any control over your life, other than keeping yourself healthy, which obviously I've not done a good job at. And uh, seeking wisdom, seeking the truth, you know, walking the straight and narrow path, or at least mostly so, you know, leading a, a clean life, uh, you know, for you or your family. I don't have a family, you know. That's the only power that you could exert, to whatever extent that you can. You know, but control over other people much less wanting control, to want control. This is 80% yeah, of the reason why politicians are all evil scumbags, all of them. They want to take away any freedoms that you got. They want to stick a camera up your butt, almost literally, stick a camera in your home. They got camera. There are places in this world where there's a friggin' four or five cameras on every street corner. I mean, F you. It's not the evil people that are responsible, partially so, that they want that kind of control over other people. The true evil comes from all the stupid masses that give that power over to others. You should never relinquish that kind of power. Everybody today, and this is not a cell phone, but let's pretend it is, everybody today is walking around basically with a tracker up their fanny. I know fanny in different countries means different things, but you know, this is a tracker. Wherever you go, someone can find you. We're all addicted to it. We can't be like two feet away from our cell phones. Completely ridiculous. I mean, that's a personal tracker. It's like, what's better than sticking a camera on every street corner? I know, I know. We'll invent this ingenious device that has all these stupid game applications on it. And, you know, it's also a telephone and you could calculate with it. People will love it, but it's also a tracker. Everybody's going to be so addicted to it that we'll never be more than two steps away from it. 
And if we ever want to find somebody, we can find them instantaneously because we're going to get them addicted to this little freaking thing. What are we going to call it? We're going to call it the... Well, it doesn't matter if it's a Samsung or an iPhone. They're the exact same thing. They're tracking devices. Not saying that their primary use is a track, but they're perfect. We're going to track everybody in the world. This is the reason why nobody has a regular telephone anymore. Well, no, regular telephones aren't good. You know, you need them as a business, but we need everybody to have a tracking device. How are we going to do that? Oh, I know, let's build this cool little thing fits your pocket, and it's got games on it, and a calculator, and it's also a phone, and, and you surf the web on it, and everybody's going to be totally addicted to it. But it's also a tracking device. <laughs> the evil is not because... And I don't care about politics at all, but I laugh at the people that are always uh, hating on one politician or another politician. And if you have wisdom, like I do, to whatever extent you think I do, you laugh at those people. It's like, you're hating on politician A or politician B. You know, who do you think put these idiots into power? You and the rest of you idiots literally gave power to someone that wants power over you, who themselves is an evil, sadistic clown. I mean, politicians are, are evil. 99.999% of them are. Um, a real politician, uh, you know, from the times of Plato, and I don't know if you've ever read Plato's Republic, uh, a, a real politician or philosopher king, as uh, Plato and Pythagoras refer to it, is someone that did not want the job. In other words, you actually had a mass of uh, very, very, very wise people, just undeniable, and they elected a very wise person among them, simply based upon uh, wisdom, not based upon power or desire for power or want of power. And they, they made this person. They didn't pick him. They made this person take the job. And the person didn't, no, I don't want that job. No, 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 no. You know, that's why you need it. You're not only extremely wise, you don't want the job. A real politician, and this is never going to happen, the world will turn inside out and... Uh, and explode before this ever happens. But the people that actually should be given control over, uh, you know, taking care of things are people that are not only extremely wise, but don't want the job. Like, no, 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 I don't want, no, you got to take the job. No, I don't want it. You know, to hell with that. No, 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 no. For the, for the sake of society, you have to take it. You know, this is one of your uh, chores of life. This is for five or ten years or whatever that you take care of things, you know, you manage the safety and security of the, the, the peoples. Ah, oh, God, I don't want this job. No, no, no. No, 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 no. You know, you're extremely wise. We, uh, collectively, us wise folks, we want you to... That's the philosopher king of Plato, Pythagoras. People that go out there and actually spend millions of dollars, instead of, like, retiring you know, in, in a spandex bikini and, and drinking pina coladas on the beach. Like, no, 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 I'm going to spend millions and millions of dollars. <clears throat> and there's tons of them. I'm not referring to any specific one. They want power over other people. These are the same people that should never, ever, ever be given power. Never. They want power over you. That's the one of the fundamental reasons why they should never be given. Power is an illusory concept. In metaphysics, this notion of power over others is the biggest illusion imaginable. You barely have control of your own life. Barely. Almost none. Even if you're a, a truth seeker and you're incredibly wise, you still be run over tomorrow out in the street by some drunk grandma or something. You really don't have any control over anything other than, you know, wisdom and the quest for truth. Not only do you have no control over your life, that you want control over others or a bunch of other people makes you evil. But the world is full of evil. So this is no shock to anybody with wisdom. Anyway, this is a uh, metaphysical approach to the premise of power, which is the biggest illusion that there is. Well, there's a lot of illusions, but it's one of the biggest. You have no power over anybody. You don't even have it over your own life. Stop wanting power over other people. Stop caring. Here's another one. This applies to people that are in sick religions. Stop, you know, stop trying to convert people. I want you to believe what I believe. I believe this, and, you know, I'm going to beat you over the head if you don't believe what I believe. I'm going to pound you in the <laughs> I mean, that was almost literally. This has been like the past 30,000 years of stupid human society. I'm going to beat you in the head with this rock. If you don't believe what I believe, 
You either believe it or... <laughs> That's a type of uh, power control from the standpoint of religion. You know. I'm going to make you believe it, boy. <laughs> well, that's a great way to convince somebody. Threaten them physically. <laughs> that doesn't work. That is what we call tyranny. And there's a lot of tyranny in the world. This world's either going to go out in a bang or a whimper or a combination of both. And none of those three options is good. No, it's not. Lux Veritas. Good night.